Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this lesson, we'll be going through a very interesting concept of edge locations and CloudFront. And the best way to explain it, let's see an example without CloudFront. And then in the next example, we're going to see what exactly did CloudFront add. Imagine if I have a user and this user wants to watch a certain movie from any of the content providers. But as you can see in this example, this user is sitting very far from where I have my movies stored. So what will happen here? The user will be sending a request. The request will be going through the internet infrastructure and routers that we have here. And we all know the internet infrastructure is not very reliable. So maybe the path I took to reach my destination will not be the same path I will take to send the movie back to my user. And the more this user is far from the destination, the more latency and the more delay. And of course, if this user is watching a movie in a full HD, for example, or 4K, they will not get the best user experience, especially he's sitting very far from the destination. And that's why let's now introduce in the next example, what exactly did this service called CloudFront add? So CloudFront is doing what we call content delivery networks, or in simple terms, CDN. If I want to make CDN concept very simple, CDN equals or CDN means I am doing caching. So let's see what's the example here and what's the added value of CloudFront. So CloudFront, this is the name of the service doing CDN. And where can I find this service? I can find this service in what we call edge locations. So if you remember from just the previous lesson, this is where we introduced the concept of regions and availability zones. And if you remember, we went to the AWS homepage of the global infrastructure. And this is where we found out by the time I'm recording this video, AWS has 31 regions, 99 availability zones, and more than 450 edge locations. This is where I have the CloudFront as a service. So what happens here? Let's see, I have a user and she wants to watch the same movie, but this user, the same example is sitting very far from where I have the destination of movies. So what will happen here? The first thing, this request will be routed to the nearest edge locations from the 450 edge locations that we have. And then it will check the cache. Do I have this movie cached inside the local cache of this edge location? And if I don't have this movie, this is what we call a cache miss. So what will happen here? The edge location will be sending this request to where I have the destination. But something extra, very special here. Now this request will not be going through the internet infrastructure. This request will be utilizing the AWS backbone, which is much, much more reliable and much, much more faster. So I send the request to go to the origin and then the origin will be sending back the movie and then pay attention here. What happens now? The edge location is going to cache this inside the local cache of the edge front and then send back the movie to the first user. Now, for all the coming users, another user is coming and he wants to watch the, the same movie. So he will send his request to the edge location. But now in this case, I already have a copy of this movie. So what happens here? I don't need to go back to the origin and then come back and add more latency and delay. Since I have the object inside my cache, guess what? I can immediately send this movie to this user and of course providing a much, much better user 
experience for the coming users. Let's see the characteristics of CloudFront. So CloudFront, again, this is the name of the service. And again, where can I find CloudFront? I can find CloudFront in edge locations. So CloudFront, this is the service to speed up the distribution by caching the objects inside these edge locations. And then the request, as we explained, the request will be going to the nearest edge location from the 450 edge location AWS has. And if I don't have this inside my cache, then this is what we call a cache miss. And the beauty about uh, the edge locations now, the request will be going through the AWS backbone network, much, much faster than the, in the internet infrastructure. And of course, much, much more reliable. And then we explain that if the content is not in the edge location, this is what we called a cache miss. So the edge location will need to go and retrieve it from the, from the origin. And if the content is already inside my cache, what happens here? CloudFront will deliver it immediately. And this is, as we explained, enhancing the user experience, of course, by delivering the object immediately to the user. I don't need to go to my origin and come back. And this is what we call a cache hit because I already have this movie or I already have this object cached in my local edge location. So two famous questions for the people taking the exam. The first question is, what is the name of the service doing CDN or content delivery or caching? Think about, of course, CloudFront. And then a second question, where can I find CloudFront? I can find CloudFront in edge locations. And with this, we come to the end of this lesson. I hope by now you fully understand the concept of edge locations, CloudFront or CDN. Thank you so much for watching and see you in future lessons.